So we're we're in a part of the it's an inflection point of our industry where it, it's the tipping point that brings us into the mainstream. The reason why the data center industry is not well known yet is because it hasn't really collided yet with any major mainstream industrialized industry like manufacturing and retail. We don't really fall in that bucket. We don't fall into real estate because we're a technology play that sells by, we spell, we sell our product by, by KW and megawatts, right? So we sell a product that's it's sold as power, just like the energy vertical. So there's a lot of reasons why these two industries are coming together, but it's really because there's such a massive demand of power and we're having such a hard time staffing the labor demands of the growth of this industry because of us, the consumers, that we're looking everywhere to build data centers in the United States now. Everywhere, not in the lower 48, even in Alaska, they're looking, there's people that I know that are trying to figure out what they can make out of Hawaii. But like you're up in New Hampshire, you're on the New England grid. You would think that there'd be a huge demand for data centers up there specifically because the mechanical solution lends itself to more an economic efficiency up there because there's so much cold yeah. that's already up there, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering what would it take to incentivize groups to come to New Hampshire to build data centers based on the optics and how you view it? Well, I think first of all, if you're looking at building anything across the country, right, it could just be generation or it could be data centers or it could be data centers with co-located I generation. Think, I think the product now is, I think that there's going to be a, a gigawatts of data center capacity put online that will never have an interconnection grid request. Okay. And so that they, they're they going to do that because we can't wait for the grid to show 